right to everybody, welcome to this video of Rams Astro. So, I've been sitting on my couch for the last few days trying to figure out stuff to film and review. I've not really got the money to buy anything and if I did, the shops are kind of shut. So, I was looking at my Ghostbusters collection and I was really tempted to open a couple of the Playmobil sets I've personally got just to review them. But then I was like, I don't want to open them. But then, magic struck my head. I realised my son's got the entire set sitting in his bedroom from the year that these came out. He's not touched them in years. I've just been sitting there. Why don't I just review each set because he's already got them. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing we're looking at here today is the Ghostbusters Firehouse playset from Playmobil. So as you can see, it's the firehouse outside. You've got some good detail. You've got the front, you've also got a, it's a stickered door, so it's not a real door. You've got the, the Ghostbusters sign, which has, this is glued on because at some point it must have snapped off because when I went to retrieve it, it was lying here snapped, so I don't know when that happened, but I've glued it. It's got a fire hydrant, and you can't see around the side, but there's a staircase and stuff, but from the outside, it looks just like the firehouse. You can also open this up, so you can get the Ecto-1, it does go in. This does open all the way but I'm just being lazy. So let's do a quick jump cut and we'll have this turned around. I'm not going to do it in person because everything falls over, as you'll see. As you can see, there's quite a lot going on inside the firehouse. We've got three floors. We've got the ground floor, middle floor, and the top floor. So we're going to be doing some jump cuts and talking about each individual floor. So I think it's probably best that we start on the top floor. So let's go. So as you can see on the top floor, we've got quite a, quite a lot going on here. So the first thing here is we've got Dr. Raymond Stans getting ready to slide down the ghost pole. So what we've got to do is turn around and down he goes. So here's the wide shot of him going down the pole. He does go down pretty quickly. I wish it was a bit slower. It's just a straight down. There's no spinny action like there was in the Kenner set. So let's get back to it. So now we're seeing that, we'll just put him back up. So we're just going to talk about some of other stuff. So first we'll talk about... Uh, the actual Ghostbusters figure. So we'll just lock that up there. So we've got Dr. Ray stands here. So it's a Playmobil figure. So you can move the arms up and down. The both legs move with each other. They can sit down, but they can't move independently. And you've got a surprisingly detailed ghost, uh, proton pack. So yeah, you can see all the details on there. It's actually, and you can take this off. And he can just hold it. It's, it. He holds it differently than he would in the film because it's a Playmobil. Oh, I've put it on backwards. So there we go. So he holds it kind of like a gun. But the thing I quite like about these Playmobil figures that they didn't have when I was a kid is these stick on proton beams that look like proton beams. So that is just awesome. It just looks cool. So when you're fighting ghosts, that is awesome. So that's just Dr. Raymond Stans. So there's a, few, a different version of him than a different set. We'll get to that another day. But yeah, it doesn't look like him. It just looks like a Playmobil figure in a Ghostbusters suit. But what are you expecting with Playmobil? So I'm just going to lie him here. I'm not going to reconnect him to the pole. So that's just the... Raymond Stan. So let's talk about the other things we've got up here. So we'll talk about Janine. So we've got Janine here. She is modelled after her Ghostbusters 2 look, which is a bit weird because this whole set is modelled after Ghostbusters 1. But I suppose her Ghostbusters 2 look is probably a bit more visually striking for a toy. She's reading a newspaper here, which is a Playmobil version, basically, of the newspaper in the movie during the montage. And you can see it's actually pretty detailed. So I've had no real experience with Playmobil until my son got this set. So the figures can hold these pretty easily. It opens, it closes. So that is pretty cool. So it's also got a hard desk with a computer. And just bring the computer over here. You can even see that it's got a little map telling the Ghostbusters where the next job's going to be. So that's awesome. It's got a phone. You can actually take the phone off the receiver so you can hold the phone. So I've just sat the, this ghost here because I've got no real else place. So this ghost comes with the set. It's the library ghost from the Ghostbusters movie. So it's translucent mostly and it just looks like a creepy old woman ghost. If I didn't know it was a library ghost, I'd maybe guess it was her, but the face doesn't quite do it. So yeah, it just looks like a creepy old woman. But yeah, it's pretty cool that you get a ghost with this set for the Ghostbusters 2 bust. So that's the top four. So it's just got a little desk. Every one of those drawers open up. You can keep things in them, but there's nothing in them. So as I said, I had no real experience with Playmobil. 
until my son got these. I didn't realise how detailed the sets could get until I got this. It's ridiculous. So let's check out the middle floor. So as you can see, we're on the middle floor now. So this is mostly like Egon's lab. So just like in the first movie, he is experimenting on Louis Tully. So let me just do a quick turn so you can get a rough idea. So he's got a lot of lab equipment here. I'm just turning this the best so you can get a good look at everything. I will pull things out. So as I said, Play the video is ridiculously detailed. So you've got a microscope there. You've got little test tubes and the thing that I quite like detail wise. Don't know if this will show up on camera. Can you just see it? You got a little Tobin Spirit Guide. That's the get the the reference guide that they always use in the movies. So it's a little Tobin Spirit Guide for the Ghostbusters to look through. So I quite like that that they've kept that in there. So that is awesome. So let's have a look at Egon. So this is his lab coat Egon. So this comes only with the firehouse. Just like that Ray and Janine and Fire Ghost. Uh, the library ghost. So he's got his little headlight on there. He comes with his lab coat. It looks really cheery. He's also got a, let's see if we can get a good look, a PKA meter. PKE, why do I always struggle to say that? PKA meter. So this comes with quite a lot of the set. So you've got, I've got my son's got quite a lot of these kicking about in his Playmobil box. So yeah, so this is when he's doing all his experimentations on Lewis Tully. So I'm just going to lie him here. So I'm just going to do a quick jump cut. So all of this furniture is movable. I've just sat these here for when I'm displaying these because moving it from my son's room to here, everything fell about. I should probably blue tack everything down. Then everything doesn't move everywhere. So let's have a look at this piece of equipment here. So this is the same screen that was in the movie when they're experimenting on Lewis. You can see the the scan of the terror dog and it comes with little drawers that you can keep things in. So like I said, if you have several Playmobil sets, you could build up quite a little lab here. So let's just put that back. And there's also this little piece of equipment that's printing off all the results and it's Ghostbusters branded. So all these little buttons are slightly individual. So it is pretty cool. You've also got the video camera, which is... I'll just move this over. It's a video camera which is filming uh, Lewis Tully projecting to that TV screen. So let's do another jump cut to a different angle. So at this angle you can see that there's a bookcase here with several beakers on it, pots and pans, jars and other lab equipment with a lampshade behind Lewis Tully. So let's have a quick look at Lewis Tully. Take him out of the chair. So this is how he looked when he's getting like, uh, well, examined by Egon and the Ghostbusters HQ. He's got his little colander hat on. Doesn't look too, come on, focus, there we go. It doesn't look too much like a corner, but it does have the holes in it and the wires. He's wearing his unbuttoned, mostly, well, one button blue shirt with his orange shirt underneath. He's got his little goofy smile on there, so he's getting experimented on. He doesn't know what's going on. He's just the key master, and he's sitting enjoying his time in the chair. So it's getting put back in there. And he's falling over. Who cares? Let's get that focused again. There we go. So that's the second floor. Oh, there's a couple of things we missed out. There's a little stool. This came with the set that neither me or my son has ever been able to figure out what it's meant to be. Is it some sort of scanner that the Egon's supposed to hold to scan Lewis? I'm not entirely sure. I should probably Google this at some point to see what it's meant to be. But I'm not entirely sure. It also comes with this little pizza box. And like I said... Plenty of view is stupidly detailed. If you were to open up, there is a removable pizza for the Ghostbusters to hold and munch. So that's the middle floor. You can also see up there, there is the fire alarm. And you can the details on the windows are pretty good. Good frames on them. So while we're here, I we might as well have a look at the front of the firehouse in detail. You can't properly tell I've glued that. You can slightly see. But you can see the front of the firehouse is good brickwork detail. I'm not entirely sure what this is all about. I remember seeing that at, once I built it for my son, wondering if I missed a piece because it looks like something's supposed to clip there. But nope, there's nothing supposed to clip there. And when you look at the box art, this part of the building is cleverly hidden by a ghost being zapped. So I'm not sure if they realise themselves that that looks kind of stupid, but they're not going to do anything about it. So let's move on to the bottom floor. So the bottom floor of the firehouse is pretty plain, there's not much to say. There's a garage floor here, you can get a good look at the fire hydrant. Seems a bit weird for that to sit there considering the figures are supposed to come down. But if you open this up, it does open up the fire. This, if you've got the Ecto-1, it 
can go in there, but the best thing about the the bottom floor is the containment unit, so we're going to do a different view, do a jump cut, and we'll talk about the containment unit. So this is the containment unit on the bottom floor of the firehouse playset, so it should be in the basement, but as it's Playmobil and the playset hasn't been 100% accurate already, we're taking liberties, and I'm happy with that. So as you can see, you've got your danger, it looks kind of like it did in the movie, it's just more red, just like it was in the real Ghostbusters. You've got your stickers up here telling you danger and your warning lights. So, I'm not going to go into detail about the ghost traps just yet, but you do get ghost traps with your figures. They do come with cables, but I've taken this one off to demonstrate the containment unit. So, you can do that, pull that down. You can open it up, and just like in the movie, you can put your ghost trap in. Push it right in, close it up, lock it up, and pull that down, and that's your empty your ghost trap. I mean, my son had lots of fun playing with this feature. It's a feature I wish I had as a child. So then all you've got to do, you don't even need to pull that lever down. It's just if you want to do the film actions, you can take your recently emptied ghost trap out, and you can go back and bust some heads. So I would have loved that, I would have absolutely loved that as a kid. I didn't have the Ghostbusters Firehouse as a kid, so we're going to do a quick jump cut to a overall view, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So my final thoughts in this set is when I bought this for my son, he was all over us because he was playing with Bill Ghostbusters was advertising the TV all the time. He actually asked for all of these toys. I didn't push him into them, so... I was quite happy that he wanted them all. I got them the full set. I've only, I only own two of these sets for myself. It's not the firehouse though, so we'll get into that. So I would love this for myself, but this is my son's. I never had the Kenner firehouse play set as a child. I had all the other Ghostbusters toys, but I never had the play the firehouse. So this, this feels like I'm giving my son something that I never had, so it's great. So he's not touched these Playmobil toys in a few years now since he got them so maybe since about a year maybe a year and a half after they came out and he got them so I, I think he's maybe outgrown Playmobil because Playmobil is aimed at a specific age and he's probably he's, he's gone up in nine now so he's kind of past that now so I'm not sure how much longer they'll just sit in storage in his room they'll maybe just put in a permanent storage I'm not sure we'll find out what he wants to do with them so, I love this set. The detail surprised me when I first got it. It was surprisingly difficult to put together. Some parts were quite difficult. You required a little tool. But, it is still on sale. You can still get this at a fairly decent price on Amazon. It's £60. And you get all of this with it. So, you end up with five figures. Proton Pack, Proton Stream Trap. Hundreds of... Uh, there's tons of accessories if you include every individual piece of our science equipment and beakers and things like that and all the little pieces of furniture so you can only get these figures with this set that you do get variations on three of these figures but the Lewis and the library ghost only come with this set there's no variations in any other set so if you want those figures you would have to get the, the firehouse at some point so I do plan on getting this for myself and maybe keeping it boxed or maybe unboxing it and displaying it properly I'm not entirely sure, but that's quite a way away. That's like back when I get a new job and save some money up and I can get myself some stuff. So that's the firehouse. I'm really happy with this. So I'm going to be doing reviews on my son's full Playmobil set. So I'm not sure if they're going to be one, like if they're all going to be uploaded in a row. I'll try and mix them up and do some videos in between. But I'm just doing this because I've got nothing else to make videos on. And they're just sitting there doing nothing in his room. So thanks for watching. If, if you like this, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it, and all that and jazz. Stay tuned for the other Playmobil Ghostbusters videos. I know they're a few years late, but not everyone knows these figures exist. So as always, don't forget, have a gidgen. <laughs>